what is going on guys, I'm back with another video. Today I am back on Utopia. It has been a really long time since my last video on Utopia, but in today's video we'll go ahead and cover some of the latest updates which are actually really amazing. Now before we get into that, I just want to announce a really juicy giveaway. In today's video there will be two winners, one of them winning a $50 scroll and the other one winning a fortune wheel box which is worth $70 and can give some amazing loot. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is make sure you are subscribed, make sure to turn on notifications make sure to like the video and comment your endgame name down below the winners will be picked in just about two days as always they will be announced in my community discord on the server discord and in my pinned comment links of discords are down below in the description so definitely make sure to join those so I'll be going through the update logs that are on the forums. I'll go through three of the update logs which have some amazing content. If you want to go ahead and check out these update logs for yourself because there are a bunch of things that I won't actually go ahead and cover because there is just way too much to go over if I would cover everything. So if you want to go ahead and check that out, you can check the link in the description, go to the forums and look at the update threads for yourself. Starting off though, they added global boss points, so for every global boss that you kill, you'll now go ahead and get some points, which you can then spend in the server perk shop right here, um, or the global boss point store rather. I'll showcase this in game in just a second as well, so you guys can see the prizes of the boss points uh, that you will need. So that is super nice. They also added this um, shenanigan for mage and melee damage booster, which is of course really nice because that will boost your damage. Um, and then they added this this right here which is a new boss I believe which drops this full armor set also a stored mystery box and the two new shenanigans so that is super nice now you can also go ahead and upgrade this um, which is super nice with the upgrade interface of course as you would always do so starting off the global shop right here is at the home area so that is super nice very easy to reach as you can see this will cost quite a lot of global boss points in order to buy the set but things like the fortune wheel mystery box which is $70, you can go ahead and buy for 100 global points, so that's super nice. Um, you of course have a bunch of other boxes, a bunch of other armors, you even have this pet uh, right here that you can go ahead and buy for some boss, uh, global boss points, so that is super nice. Now for the new boss, if we go to the custom bosses, you have it right here, so you can go ahead and teleport to there, you can also see the rare drops here, and of course, whenever you teleport to there and you examine the NPC, um, you can check out the drops right here as well. Now they also added this new investor zone, I'll go ahead and showcase that in just a second, there are just a few features that we will have to go over before we get to there. This comes with a new Slenderman NPC which has a bunch of really nice drops, for example the $50 scrolls and stuff, but the Slenderman Aura is the most important drop that you can get from here because as you can see it is actually really nice. Also the looks of this are really nice, for the rest they added a few mini bosses right here as you can see with some really nice drops as well. And they also added this Investor Torva set which looks absolutely amazing, also has some really beautiful stats, this of course comes with an Investor Torva NPC that you can go ahead and kill to get the drops. They also added Joshi's right here as you can see. Um, this is the best um, multiple area farm zone in game so that is super nice as well. Um, or enchantment scroll rather my bad. Um, and for the rest they added the new gradable items into there as well. So as you can see I am now at the investor zone right here with of course the beautiful looking zone with all the purple in here. You have the Slenderman as I mentioned earlier which drops of course the Slenderman aura as you can see right there. So that is super nice. There are two spawns right here at the other side there is one as well that you can go ahead and kill. Then you have the Yoshis which is of course the farming place. You have the mini bosses right there. If we go a little bit further to the south you have the investor Torva and of course the other mini bosses as well that you can go ahead and kill. for. All all that beautiful loot. Now there was still some more on the previous update log but if you guys want to go ahead and check that out for yourself you just can visit the forum page. I'm moving on to the next update log where they have some more beautiful updates. They changed the goodie box loot as you can see right there. Um, they added the investor zone to the teleport on the um, donator tab which makes it very accessible uh, for you guys to teleport to. They also added the slayer shop a little bit and then moving on right here they added a new 
Slayer set, which has a 2.7 bonus set multiplier, which is super nice. You can also create this. Um, the Slayer Helms give you 2 times Slayer points as well, and the Maze gives you a uh, 1.5 times Slayer point multiplier. Um, on top of that, the set looks absolutely amazing. The stats are awesome, as you can see right here, as well with the weapon. Um, so, yeah, that is super sick. They also have the offhand um, right here, which also looks super nice. And of course, they added it to the creatable item list. Now, moving on, they added this new Merlin zone, with ha which has a bunch of really cool custom drops. Um, you do have to have 300 hours of game time before you can go ahead and teleport to this zone. But the zone looks really cool, as you can see with the minimap right there. And of course, you can get the Merlin set, which I'll showcase in game in just a second. It is actually super nice. Um, here is the orb. As you can see, it has some pretty nice bonuses. You also have the bow right here, which looks super nice. So to get to the Merlin zone, you click on the custom bosses tab once again, you select Merlin and then you can teleport to there if you do have your 300 hours of game time. As you can see right here we are at the zone, the drops are once again super nice, you can get the full outfit right here, Ring of Infinity and of course the Merlin aura which is also really cool. Plus you can get this owner's pinnet box which is a really nice box to open up. Let's go ahead and kill one real quick and then I'll pull out the uh, Merlin set to showcase as well. So as you can see, this is the full Merlin set with the Merlin aura. It looks really cool if you ask me, the aura is really nice as well. It goes all the way over you with a purple finish. I love it a lot. Now they also added another zone, the ban zone, which requires 200 hours of game time. As you can see right here, the map once again looks really nice. Um, has a bunch of different drops, also the Allen amulet right here, which gives you a 6% drop rate and 6% double drop rate, which is super nice. Um, they also added this band gear set, which looks pretty cool as well. The stats are also very nice, and then they have a bunch of other updates right here as well. Now once again for the band zone, you go to the custom bosses, click on band teleport to there, easy as that, and you'll be going to the actual band zone where you can go ahead get all of these beautiful drops to gear yourself up just like him. Another really cool thing is that they implemented crypto in game so that is super nice. Crypto is making a big moves right now and they are implementing this in game which I think is super sick to see. So you can get a few coins um, from farming um, all like game NPCs when you have the contributor rank. As you can see these are the chances to get each of these coins. You can get Bitcoin, Ethereum and Doge coins from here. Now they are worth quite a bit as you can see Doge coins are worth one quadrillion ethereum is worth three but then you have bitcoin which is worth 400 quadrillion which is absolutely insane so if you get yourself a bitcoin you are pretty damn rich if you ask me now you can grind um these cryptos on the item grinder as well now there is also a crypto exchange that will be coming soon so that is very nice something to look forward to Anyways, we are moving on to yet another update log. As you can see right now, we are on update log 2.6. So they added a new Tesla zone. Of course, when they add crypto, they also have to involve Mr. Elon Musk himself because he has um, done so much with the crypto market going up and down both ways. Anyways, um, my man Elon Musk has a custom NPC that you can go ahead and kill, of course. It does have a requirement of 500 Donald Trump kills in order to go to the Tesla zone. It does have quite a few drops. It has the cosmetic set of Elon Musk. You can get Dogecoin, you can get Ethereum, you can get Bitcoin. You can also get the Tesla Aura and you can get a flamethrower which is really cool i believe you can also get this pet right here which is the cyber truck of course that they were producing with um tesla now right here are the stats of the tesla aura it looks really cool as well i have it equipped in game we'll showcase that in just a second so once again if we go to custom bosses click on tesla you can go ahead and teleport to the zone if you have the requirements of 500 donald trump kills of course as you can see right here is the cyber truck of my man elon musk if you you check out the drops you can get of course the coins you can get the full elon musk set bitcoin the aura and of course the flamethrower as well which is the weapon that i currently have equipped and it looks super awesome if you ask me uh, so yeah that is a really cool custom weapon now also with a new start of the month June, they also added a new spinner mystery box of the month of June. It has a lot of really cool items that you can go ahead and get, including some of these crypto coins. So hopefully we get those, I'll open up 50 of these boxes in just a second. 
So I'm going to be opening up all these June spinner boxes right here at the Tesla zone because hopefully Mr. Tesla will give me some luck. I actually just got myself Ethereum from my first box so that is really nice. Uh, we just got a $100 scroll which was a rare reward. Another Ethereum. Let's go ahead and spam through these. Did I just get? Yes, I just got myself a Bitcoin. That is super sick. Um, but yeah, I'm going to speed open these and hopefully I get a few more of these rare rewards. Oh, there we go. We just hit a hundred dollar scroll once again. Oh, and there we go. Draconic bow as well. And another Draconic bow. Oh, there we go. We just got ourselves a flamethrower. We just got ourselves another $100 scroll. Oh, and yet another $100 scroll. That is like super lucky. And we get ourselves yet another Bitcoin on our final box as well. So that is super nice. We also got two of these Thor mystery boxes, but I do need some more inventory spaces. So let's quickly go ahead and open these and we get ourselves Kaneki Gloves and CN Collected Aura. So from those 50 boxes we got a bunch of really good loot including 4 of these new Bitcoins, 3 Ethereum and 2 Dogecoins. I actually got super lucky because Dogecoins are the most common ones and Bitcoin should be the most rare one. So I don't know what happened there but I can't complain whatsoever. I just won myself some Bitcoin. Unfortunately it's not actual Bitcoin but I can't complain whatsoever. But anyways that is where i will be ending off today's video guys i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did make sure to smash the like button subscribe if you didn't already also make sure to enter the juicy giveaway and i'll be catching you guys in my next video peace